This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 506. A good seller is a good teacher. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And have you ever had a difficult customer that tested your patience? You want to do a good job, but it seems that all the prospects wants to do is make it harder on themselves. Sure, you'd like to help, but they don't want to be helped. And now you can't help but wonder, why are they even talking to you? You know something's there. You know that you think you can teach them a few things. They would be good for their business. And your company might even be able to help them with a a product or a service. But they're not having it. They're not a good student. And at the same time, there's a part of you that just doesn't want to let it go. And in the words of the class, you can't help but wonder, should I stay or should I go? What does it mean to be a good teacher? That's the topic for today. But before we get to today's chapter... Make sure to subscribe to the podcast and also follow us on Facebook, X, and myself on LinkedIn. You can find links in the show notes. And so with no further ado, let's get to it. A good seller sets aside concerns about making commissions. They are not intent on closing focused on helping the buyer, they keep an open mind. What is a good seller? A teacher of a bad buyer. What is a bad buyer? A good seller's job. If the seller is not respected and the buyer is not attended to, confusion will arise, no matter how clever the seller. The master seller takes care of all buyers and abandons no one. Lee's company had quality issues and started shopping for a solution that would raise product standards. Chris was excited to have the opportunity, but as the sale progressed, Chris found Lee to be a rude and difficult buyer. Chris shared with Pat, They don't respect me, our company, or our products. They're very skeptical and have wasted a lot of my time and I'm concerned I'll never see any business from them. Head nodding, Pat responded. I know how you feel. I once had a deal with a rude and difficult prospect, but I hung in there and once I recognized their issues and the negative experience they had with other vendors, I understood their behavior. They had been burned and they didn't want that to happen again. Maybe Lee is not a good fit for us. That's your call, but I urge patience. Try to help and teach them about our solutions. Don't give up until they give up. Sales is a long game. The Zen teacher Thich Nhat Hanh said, If you miss the present moment, you miss your appointment with life. It's easy in sales to have shiny object syndrome and only get excited about the new deals in your pipeline. It's difficult working with difficult customers, but like they say, if it was easy, anybody could do it. As a seller, teaching is your core competency. Be mindful when qualifying, discovering, presenting, and closing. A good teacher is like water that when poured into a vessel, molds to whatever shape it is. The same is true of master sellers. Now, if you'd like to read today's chapter, you can find it in the show notes at salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links to the podcast sent conveniently to your inbox. Now, if you found value in this episode, you thought it made you a better seller, Maybe you know somebody else who'd like to improve their selling skills. If you could refer this episode to them, I'd really appreciate it. Not only would it help grow the podcast, but it helped grow 
or selling community. If you got any questions about business development or selling, last week somebody I was working with was able to get a deal that allowed them to quit their job and start consulting. I was so happy when I got his text last week when he gave his employer his two weeks notice. That was awesome. If there's anything I can do to help you, don't hesitate to reach out. Go to the website at salesbabble.com and click the Babble Me button. That'll send a message directly to me. Or you can find me on LinkedIn. I'm there all the time. That's all I've got for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.